Hello everyone, this is Sora Mishra and I'm very excited to be a part of the Ops Summit Canada chapter and uh, in this chapter I'm going to be present on the session of application motorization on the multi-cloud and this is going to be very important nowadays at uh, cloud and Kubernetes is going to be mainstream in the, for every organization. So this is about me. I'm, so, uh, I'm Sora Mishra. I'm working as the DevOps uh, lead with Vodafone Group, it's almost more than six years now. Besides my, you know, uh, role, uh, daily roles and responsibility, I'm uh, I'm much involved in the various community engagement and the contributions. If you see there, I am enrolled and ambassador with the various program, and I've contributed a lot in terms of the open source, cloud, and the Kubernetes communities. So, let's proceed on this session. So, this is quite open session and it's very interactive sessions. Whatever the question you have, that is, uh, you can ask at any time. Uh, whatever the question, there's nothing, you know, good or bad, or you can ask uh, with me. Keep this session interactive and, you know, uh, till if you wanted to ask a question, please unmute the mic and, you know, ask your questions. So let's discuss about uh, application modernizations. What's the meaning of basically for application modernizations? How is going to be useful? How make maximum companies, organizations adopting from monolithic to microservices? What's the motive and what's the benefit they are getting with that? So there are the certain agenda we need to be follow for every session. So in this session, I'm going to be, you know, a little bit explain about uh, what is uh, one second what is the application modernization then after we'll discuss why you are modernizing the legacy app then what are the various cloud offer so predominantly i'm talking about here the aws and gcp offer services in this regard then uh, what are the benefit and what are the various challenges you know we can discuss and uh, how can we overcome and what are the best practices we should follow to you know make it the most most cost effective and this is going to be the most effective how to you know achieve this modernization stuff so let's define uh, there are the certain ways you can define the application modernizations this is one of the process of on which uh, refactoring organization like C apps to cloud native approach in other words, you can say migrating from monolithic to microservice architecture. We're going to be discussing in detail in the upcoming slides. Then um, another uh, another way we can define like, you know, updating outdated business system and applications, how we can achieve that stuff. So if you see about uh, application modernization in the details is the process of refactoring as already know uh, from Laxi app to cloud native approach. It is it is the process of taking existing organization on prem applications to modernize may involve migrating those applications to various cloud type like private public hybrid in other words migrating from the monolithic in the details so these are the pillars i'm going to be discuss the first pillar is going to be your architecture and cloud native technology so every company is you know trying to bring those uh, legacy app on the cloud native on which they can integrate with the various tool they can integrate with the so many open source offer from your uh, from kubernetes cloud offering we have second pillar is most important is also important is like you have to follow the devops culture and automation so devops is all about to uh, one, one of the methodology on which we can um, combine the work of the developer at the operation and bridge the gap between them and uh, you have to achieve whatever the automation you can in the existing environment then another way is like this is the very big terms digital transformation so digital transformation is something like uh, the various way you can transform from your you know application to discipline inclined and then finally it's very important as well so we have to certain define the process. Uh, what are the process is going to be, you know, uh, achieve with the proper agile and well-defined methodology. Yeah? So most, most important, why is most of the companies and why you want to modernize the legacy apps? So legacy uh, apps are more often known as the monolithic applications. Monolithic applications are difficult to update uh, and they are very difficult to expensive to scale. So modernizing Lexi app will help to business update, optimize outdated technology to achieve effective and business agility, operation efficiency, and you know solutions. 
um in other way we can say uh, like they are the very difficult to update due to the shared and rigid scaling because of all of the application component having the same pipeline altogether it is very difficult and cost to add latest feature which leads to complexity and the other challenges so there are the certain way you can uh, modernize to microservices like re-architecting, re-hosting, rebuilding, replacing. So in which each component is you know, going to be a you know, very smaller component and uh, if those are very loosely coupled and then can deploy scale independently of one other efficiently. So these are the phases I'm talking about. Uh, uh, first, uh, they, are, uh, they are divided into mostly in the three phases is like access and planning. In this access and planning, you have to figure out which application is going to be actually going to be you know, migrated to microservice environment. So first of all, you have to prepare the data. You have to uh, understand the what's the application times you guys are using and what are, is this really application is feasible to be migrating from your you know, microservices or they can work independently or not. Then once you have decided, then you have to architecting uh, and assembling those applications all together to bring in the microservice uh, plane. Uh, you can decide further on that, that. Then finally, once it is defined, you have to uh, operate and the maintenance as well and those services. Like, you know, you have to proper team, you can um, basically operate. And if needed, you can, you know, make the service uh, available at uh, any time through the maintenance process. So this is one of the example on which we are discussing what is the monolithic and what are the microservices. If, if you see the left side of my diagram, so this is, uh, we are discussing about the e-commerce site on which you can see there are the various applications running, shop UI, catalog service, SC service and discount service and other order service. So all the client uh, in the monolithic diagram we're talking about all the client uh, request is hitting on the load balance, particular load balance, and, and that is finally go to, you know, the various application. And those application is getting the data from your uh, uh, database servers where it is either. And this is quite complex. If you, if you wanted to change, uh, change the, any particular parameter for any of the applications, so then in that case, what you have to do, you have to bring all the, you have to understand the uh, complexity and, you know, correlation with the different, uh, all the application to together. And then it's, uh, uh, do the changes as required, but it is going to be very time consuming and this is not the best way you can achieve. Our, but in the microservice in, uh, architecture, if you see, they are the uh, client request. This is come catering from the API gateways. API gateways is discussing about, uh, we are interacting with each and different microservices. In the microservices, you can say they can independent scale and can uh, they are the loosely coupled with each other and they have you know interacting with the, each database individually. So in the process where it's very fast, request retrieval is very fast and you can scale independently as well. Yeah, so we are going to be discuss about uh, a different offering. Uh, from different cloud vendors. So I'm just going to be discuss about uh, mostly on the AWS and GCP for application modernizations. So in this diagram, if you see on these slides, we have just figured out five to six, but there are, there are the so many services. Uh, it is going to be you know, useful for bringing those, uh, bringing those legacy after modernizations. If I'm talking about mainly the A AWS Lambda is another one on which you can run the code without thinking about the servers. Another one is about Amazon API Gateway that is not listed in this gram, but let me explain. This is one of the uh, service on which you can build, deploy, and manage the API. Besides application app sync, uh, app sync is all about accelerator or app development with fully managed and scalable GraphQL APIs. AWS Amplify is uh, to building, deploy, hosting, manage scalable web and mobile applications. Then we have the code deployment uh, and code pipeline to automate the code deployment altogether process. We can use the Amazon Aurora is basically the one of the best uh, or high performance managed relational database service engine. Then we have the Amazon ECS and EPS on which uh, you can you can rely on the high secure, reliable, and scalable to run the container application. Another one you can run the you know Kubernetes application without operating your own Kubernetes clusters. And this is whole uh, totally managed uh, service offer for Kubernetes from the uh, Amazon. Then we have uh, 
Amazon Sag Maker on which you can build, train, and deploy machine learning models at any scale. And then finally, we have uh, uh, DynamoDB. This is one of the be best uh, no SQL database we can you know, we can rely from the AWS. Uh, beside this, we have the AWS application migration service as, as well, on which you can automate the application migration and modernizations. Then we have AWS server application repository on which we can discover, deploy, publish, service, place application along with that. Uh, then uh, we have another offer from the AWS cloud. So AWS cloud they have the uh, offering the similar service like AWS the GCP having the similar services, but yeah, but they have the one of the you know camp is there. Camp is basically cloud app modernization program on which we have the end to end framework to help guide organizations through their modernization journey by accessing where they are today and identifying their most effective path forward on this way. GKE and Post is similar. Uh, GKE is something like you can say is similar with the uh, AWS EKS. Uh, this is all together to manage uh, Kubernetes orchestration software from the Google Cloud. Along with we have the Anthos. Anthos is all about you, know, you can managing your uh, multi-cloud environment setup over there on which you can mixing, you know, Azure, uh, your uh, Google and the Amazon offer Kubernetes clusters all together on the same platform. Then we have the Cloud Run. Cloud Run is like uh, uh, writing the code uh, with your uh, whatever the language you want, and you can uh, deploy your app on the container. Cloud Build is something like quickly build, test, you know, and deploy your application to the container. And uh, workflow is something like you can build reliable application process automations and data machine learning pipeline with Google Cloud Services and API. Besides, we have a PubSub as well. PubSub is basically the messaging and ingesting event-driven system streaming analytic tool. Then we have the Google Cloud Deploy, uh, Delivery Continuous, Google Kubernetes Engine, and Enforce. So I will also return a few blocks on particular on the AWS and GCP. I can also mention your reference link as well. So these are the benefit you can get it uh, while doing modernizations. Like we have the business agility, uh, business agility. Like you know, we can uh, make it uh, effective way to you know agile the business process altogether due to the microservice architecture. We can also enhance the security and reliability for each of the applications we have running on that one. We can also effectively and cost optimize, you know, uh, the cost and uh, as well, like we have the various tools like Downscaler, Keda, and uh, there are the other offering class as well on which you can deploy over the Kubernetes cluster and, you know, manage the cost effective way. We, we can, you know, streamline and home the info whole infrastructure altogether with the microservice architecture. And uh, finally, yeah, we have the effective deployment as well of the sources. Like, you know, you can, if you want for any particular application or for the particular microservices, you can deploy your, uh, deploy your, uh, uh, do the deployment of the particular cell very, you know, very effective. The next slide is all about the challenges. Like it's not very easy to you know to uh, achieve this modernization big uh, modernization um, benefits. So you have to do a lot of access planning along with uh, there are the various challenges in quarter as well. First of all, is like outdating a legacy system on which is very difficult to figure out basically which application is going to be part of is going to be migrated, which application is going to be you know not migrated. So it's very difficult to figure out for that we have the proper understanding of the application as well as you know the whatever the technology we are going to be used for modernization is also very you know uh, good understanding of that technology as well second one is most important is like the knowledge deficit like we don't have very you know skill resource we can overall having the good access planning and uh, of all monolithic application and to how we can migrate to uh, you know modernization or microservices so this is one of the biggest challenge here our job Third one is like, you know, certain, uh, in some cases we have, you know, the, don't have the proper budget to, you know, uh, to bring those services in organizations we are part of. 
second one uh, and the most challenging was the data silos like you know every groups in the within the same organization using the different set of databases and uh, we don't know about the data you know database and what type of data um, connectivity they are using so this is being the silo within the uh, in the single organization so this is one of the most most uh, i can say is the one of the best challenge I have faced. And, and the last one is the data migration. So we have to also figure out which database, what type of migration services and tool we are going to be you know, to. So this is one of the tools we have to select very efficiently and uh, effectively to achieve this whole process of migration in particular in terms of data. Then these are the best practices I'm talking about. First of all, Adopt and re-architect of microservice distributed applications along with prioritize the application to modernize first. Don't think about all the application is going to be you know modernized, but yeah, you have to prioritize which type of application and which are the basically you know first most uh, is going to be a part of your you know migration program. Then third one is the data migration design parameter for any migration process. You have to define and design your complete. Uh, picture uh, the process is going to be migrated for those applications and these are the reference links like you can uh, over there i have written few of the blogs as well on which uh, you guys can refer over there and uh, i have written the blogs on particular aws offer services for modernization as well as for google cloud then uh, these are the reference links you guys can or use and you know reach out and you can reach out of any medium over the linkedin and the uh, medium so we can uh, or we can ask your question in the chat box as well so i can whenever i get the time i will answer those posts as well so that's it and thanks for being here you guys can connect through you know this with barcode and you can send me one to one message over the linkedin maybe the medium whatever the medium you can order thanks for thanks for being there have a good day.